Very good afternoon dear students, myself Simhana Devi, assistant professor from Department of Mechanical Engineering from Lord's Institute of Engineering and Technology. I would like to demonstrate on the preparation and study of microstructure of non-ferrous, okay, a uh, few metals maybe it may be non, uh, of alloys. Now I just would like to show you about the brass and the bronze. As you all notice the composition of copper and zinc. So in this you find both copper as well as zinc, okay. And you all know that this is the copper alloy, no doubt in that, okay, which is the on call as one of the oldest ancient we use normally for utensils purpose even, okay. Now let us go for uh, grinding operation, then for disc polishing, again for using emery papers, again with last we will go for etchants, then we will under microstructure, microscope uh, to see the microstructure of this particular bros. Let's view the microstructure after finishing all this process, dear students. Dear students, as I have just gave you the introduction to your metallurgy material science material testing lab. Okay, in this metallurgy lab, you are, I told you that you are going to focus on different metals uh, or ceramics or regarding alloys. Now, let us see for the first one, uh, the iron as well as the um, your copper and aluminium how the microstructure is going to vary okay and this is your coal setting powder and this is your coal setting powder and this is your coal setting liquid these two we are going to mix in a beaker in a proportionate uh, quantity for example let us take okay here we are just going to mix the proportionate quantity of this is your coal setting liquid dear students okay now you are going to mix in a proportionate quantity for example 10, L, 10 ml or 20 ml depending upon our uh, shape what we are going to do it ok and uh, next one is our coal setting lick powder this is liquid and this is a powder so if you observe in the beaker almost we have taken 10 ml ok and more we are going to mix here this you have to mix in such a way that it is going to solidify easily if you see here see it is going to get solidified after some time it will just get solidified okay so after this is done we are going to cut it in a pvc pipe into the required shapes in this way if you can observe you will find number of pvc pipes which are cut into uh, different shapes it will not be the same shape and size you can just take it so after this we are just going to pour this we are going to just pour this solid solution into the uh, first you are going to place this fine we are going for grinding okay now let us go for grinding then for polishing then we are going to place the same thing here here after grinding and polishing and we are going to pour this okay after this you are going to get the shape in this way since it is the black color material so it, it is in the up in the black color if the pvc pipe is just you are going to see in this way and after this we are going to remove the pvc pipe and the final appearances in this way okay this is the final stage the simple thing we are just going to poly grind it polish it and we're going to place in this way and we're going to place it what are the solid solution we have it gets solidified so obviously okay dear student this is your bell grinder okay and uh, this is the different components of your bell grinder okay what is it each component is you can just have a glance at the chat okay and uh, here we are going to go for grinding of the different specimens, grinding of the different specimens here. This is your specimen, okay. So after solidification we got the specimen as I told you. Then what are we going to do? We are going to for uh, grinding of this one, okay. We are just going for grinding. After the grinding is done, then we are going for refining the grain structure. You cannot find the same uh, structure after grinding because it is going it, it is giving you uh, it is going to define it in fact now let us go for polishing machine as we have done go, uh, done the uh, grinding operation on the grinding machine now let us go for polishing machine on the polishing on the polish disc polishing machine okay this is your disc okay it is connected to a motor where we are going to give the power supply and this is the velvet cloth which is placed on over here and we are just going to start a machine dear students
Okay, hold this specimen tightly and just place against this disc polishing machine where the polishing is done for this particular specimen. Just hold it for 2 to 3 minutes where you can get the fine structure. If you feel uncomfortable in holding the piece, against this, uh, this piece, so you can just remove it gently and you can still place it because you cannot place it for the longer time. It is going to reflect your back. Uh, we have just gone for grinding operation as well as polishing operation. Now let us go it again or for polishing on the this emery papers. This emery papers each one has its own number. If you just turn back and if you see, see guys this is 120 emery paper number. You can see this is abrasive material okay uh, which has a more it is more rough in nature okay and this is, these are all of 120. Again you will find these numbers okay this is the grade 3 paper this is grade 3 paper 3.0 4.0 okay and similarly you have all other uh, normal these colors in india also are fixed by bureau of indian standards black green pink as well as this ash color okay so i just want to sh uh, share you something guys first we need to go do it on the rough paper uh, this is the more rough if you compare all other structures this is more rough in nature okay and next is the black color okay next is your green and pink okay uh, that means uh, these colors are going to vary with uh, with respect to the grades now this is the what we got this specimen so we are going for if you can observe it you will find those particles are just falling in this way okay and uh, after this we just go do it on this paper so we need to follow from rough to smooth so just read on this paper for the two minutes and here two minutes and the green color and the last one is for pink color so now let us do it for more few seconds okay it is already refined structure that is the reason i'm not going this is the pink color one okay you're going to do it for again for two minutes after this we are going to view under microscope now let us proceed for seeing the microstructure of this particular specimen so uh, we have gone for grinding we have gone for polishing uh, the desk polishing machine as well as the emery papers okay so i as i told you that i'll be explaining about the HNs. so before we view under microstructure microscope so you should know definitely you should go for applying of this etchants okay this is the uh, etchant for cast iron okay so for different metals for different non metals different alloys you have different micro or uh, the, the different one you are going to take down for the as a etchant now this is the filler okay this is filler you are going to fill it okay and you are going to apply fine on a microstructure of this particular specimen okay so this is for the cast iron similar you have the different etchants for different metals non metals and alloys so after this we will just go for seeing the microstructure of the particular metal or a non metal or an alloy dear students uh, so we have just seen regarding the um, grinding disc polishing and uh, by using etchants as well as on the emery papers we rub the same specimen this is the uh, bros dear students now we will see the microstructure of this particular one after finishing all the process now let's place the micro this specimen under the microscope and we'll see just adjust this lens to view the microstructure now if we view under microscope then we are going to see the fine structure this one so you have seen regarding bronze okay this is also non-ferrous and non-ferrous nothing but where you don't find the iron as a main constant that's it now let us be regarding aluminum as you all know you can see how lightweight it is okay this reason why do we prefer this one in manufacturing of aeroplane wings okay so whenever you are studying something about different metals non-metals alloys you must and should know what is the composition that means what are the elements which are there in this particular one and where do you go for applications of it in practical life okay so you can see how light it is right so let us see uh, the microstructure of this one under the microscope dear students and just placing over here uh, just we have seen regarding the um, preparation microstructure of your bras and as well as the aluminium we are going through the different process like grinding, polishing, 
and again uh, grinding on the uh, memory papers again by using etchants. Finally, we have seen the microstructure of both brass as well as aluminium. Now, let us see what is the actually uh, when you want a microstructure. Sometimes you may not see the proper structure. How this is because you'll find the baseline, right? So, you're going to see those nodules, nodulars, or the lines, or you call it as grains actually on the board, dear students. So, the first one is regarding the brass, and the next one is regarding aluminium. The first one, you find the two diagrams as usual, uh, it is applicable for all the uh, experiments. The first one without etchant, that means we are not going to use any etchant on the microstructure, and the appearance to be same. Uh, it, it, it may be for same for all the experiments because it is not the clear or the fine microstructure of the particular metals, non-metals or alloys or anything. After you use uh, etchant, you will find the uh, microstructure as so. And similarly, even you will find for aluminium also. This is regarding the clear explanation for study and preparation of microstructure of non-ferrous like brass as well as aluminium. Thank you all for listening dear students. Thank you.